Welcome everyone back to my channel. Realistically, we've got 26 degrees here today. I do not want to be really doing this today. Gotta do it though. We've got rain tomorrow afternoon. This has to get done. So today, we are going to be putting in a pond for the ducks. Let's do it. Keep hydrated. Guys, so as you can see, where Della and Daisy is right here, the two ladies and Dino, that's right where the pond is going to go. So just hoping and fingers crossed that right and underneath there, there's not a whole lot of rock. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed for that. The size of the pond is gonna be about three feet in diameter. And I'm gonna dig down about a foot. And one of the most exciting things about this video is I'm gonna build the filter. I've seen a couple of videos on guys building filters. It's gonna be pretty cool. Picked up all the supplies if you've seen in my last short. Anyway, that's what is happening here today. Yes. All right, so step one guys, what we're gonna do as you can see in front of me here, this little pool that I've used for the last little while, this is going to be the size of it. So step one, I'm going to outline the pool with the edger, as this will be the exact size. And I got to say, so far so good, it doesn't feel rocky. I like it a lot. And the whole reason for this pool I'm hoping that with the filtration system, got the pump on Amazon, with the filtration system that I'm gonna set up, that there won't be any need for the way this was happening here. So it'll basically do its own thing by just filtering the water through and it'll stay clean. Fingers crossed. So guys, one more cut and it's pretty much edged around the whole size of the pool. 85%, I gotta say, and I'm happy to say, 85% of what I just cut around is really soft, so not much rock there. I like it. So as you can see right here, the water, the pool itself was on a bit of a slant, so all of the algae and all the dirt kind of sets to one end so i'm hoping with the filtration system that it keeps a nice clean pool for the ducks so all i'm going to do now is take this fork here oh it's nice and soft gotta like it wow look how easy that comes up you guys and like I said, we got about 26 degrees here today. I am thrilled that this is not all rock back here. Guys, just when I was hoping that they wouldn't come over here, but at least they're over there. They found the worms. They must have heard me. Oh, the worms in this is amazing. There, guys, check this out. Worms everywhere. So guys, once basically this uh, center gets totally broken up, as I've done the edge here already, once that gets done, it's pretty easy after that. This is the toughest part, no doubt, especially in this kind of, especially in this kind of temperature, gotta say. So guys, seeing it's so hot here today, like I said, about 25 degrees. Don't want the ducks going without. They like to take their bath. So every three days, this is what happens here. So it gets uh, emptied out and freshly refilled. But like I told you in a previous video, this hose is hooked up to the timer, the yard works timer, and the grass as well. Water your grass, don't forget. So every day, twice a day of that, fresh water goes into this pool as well and gets totally cleaned out every three days. Hence the pond is going to be fantastic. And now for the hardest part of the work, time to use the pickaxe. 
my least favorite part of this job, no doubt. Boys and girls, we got a big rock. Whoa, I think we got another big rock. Know what you guys are thinking. Why didn't Blondie wait for a day that is not 26 degrees? Oh my gosh. Lots of freezy breaks. Just got back from picking up freezies or popsicles. That'll work. So now, just a matter of getting this cleaned out. And then in goes the poly. All right, guys, so this is the last. Ooh, there's some nice worms for, oh, you saw it. Did you guys see that? Anyway, that's it. Whoa. That will be it for the hole, so now it's time to get the poly in. I thought I had enough to double this poly, so you know what? Just gonna go to the store, take a break, have a popsicle along the way, and uh, get another layer because realistically, if it just so happens, just from doing anything, this pond gets a hole in it, the water's gonna leak out, and that will be just horrible to have to redo it. So, thought I could double it up. I'm gonna go get another sheet. I'll see you on the flip side. Actually, I'll see you in a second. Going to get a popsicle. All right, so back from the store. Got one fork over there just to keep it from moving around. That one will keep that from moving around, so I'm just gonna cut Leave about this distance off the end there because realistically it's not going to be. I don't need all this extra, so I'm going to give it a cut. I hope you ducks are appreciating all this in 26. Actually, guys, not just 26 degrees here today, it feels like 32. Oh! Dixie is in the bin as we speak. It's all strapped down really well. We get a gust of wind, it's not blowing over this time. Got a big board on it, as you can see. And I also got patio stone on it. She's got about a dozen little, maybe a few more in there. So 35 days. So we're probably at 32 days at this point because she just started spending all of her time in the day. She comes out for an hour. And in 32 days, we're gonna have baby ducks. Fingers crossed because it won't be blowing over this time. Hopefully no more issues. And on that note, I'll be having duck for Christmas. Gotta like that. Guys, I gotta say, this would be pretty great just to come out and fill up water used for myself. I hope those ducks appreciate this. This is looking pretty good at this point. Ooh, the girls are coming to check it out. Come on, Della. Come on, Dixie and Daisy. Come, girls. Yeah, check it out. I think they like it. They know it. All right. What are you waiting for, guys? Time to get that filter built. I'm excited about that. Here we are inside the house and boy am I happy to be inside AC. Oh, it's great. So here's the filter. I'm going to show you the supplies and how are you going to make your own filter DIY. So first of all, I have a clay pot right here. Clay pot only had one drain hole. But what I did was took the drill and put about six more in this clay pot. Next, and this is the order they will go in the filter. Next we have lava rock. Had to get these on Amazon. 
They're about this size. I think there's about 15 to 20 pieces of lava rock. Need lava rock. Then we have some sponges right here, lots of sponges. This product right here, as you can see, I've already went ahead and used the silicone sealant to secure the PVC pipe to our bucket here and drill the holes. So this has a set overnight. We've got some PVC sealer, which is what I'll use to connect the elbows to the PVC pipe. Also, we've got some plumber's putty. This stuff is great and it's actually gonna be used for extra protection inside after this dries right here. I'll be applying this later. Then I've got a basket right here at last but not least. Just had this in a chair cover outside. Reuse, recycle folks. So I'll be putting this on the very top of the bucket. So when the cover opens, you're gonna see that. That's the very top of your filter. All right, so just so you get an idea how this works, the pump is gonna go in the pond. So after the water comes up from the pump, it's gonna go into the bucket. So on the top, it's gonna go through all your filters, it's gonna go through your poly, the basket's gonna be filled with your sponges here, lava rock, and the terracotta pot. So we've got filtered water coming through our bucket. The water that's gonna be coming through right here is gonna be crisp, clean, filtered water going to our pond for our ducks. So once the water comes out of here, the height is gonna be significant. So the water coming out is gonna go about two feet into the pond, hence it's gonna bubble, you're gonna have clean water, it's gonna give the pond oxygen, which is gonna help with the algae. So folks, I'm gonna show you a dry run, what we're gonna do. First, your clay pot is gonna go in, then our lava rock, we're just gonna let them fall all around all around our terracotta pot, just like so. Then our basket. So the basket will sit like so. Then our sponges, just gonna throw in your sponges, just like that. Maybe a couple more, got lots of sponges. Then after that, we're gonna put our poly. It's gonna sit. Yes, guys, that's right, it's that simple. There's your filter. Let's make our sprayer. So the first thing that we need to do is to make a cut in our pipe. And make sure you check, folks. Fits inside the bucket. So now, it's time to drill about three or four holes right here for our sprayer. There you go. Got four on one end. I mean, six on one end and five on the other. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's gotta work. All right, so looking at where this is gonna sit right here, folks, just gotta come out, gotta put an elbow on it right here. So I think I'm gonna cut it right about here. All right, so then what we're going to do, I'll just show you really quick. So what's gonna happen, this goes like so. Then I'm going to put a elbow on it like this. Guys, make sure you don't do this. Do not cement on this joint right here because you're gonna to wanna to disconnect this and you're gonna to wanna to clean it. So the water's gonna come from your pump right here, up from your pond, and then it's gonna go through the filtering system, come through here, fresh, clean water for your ducks or your fish, whatever you're gonna use your filter to make. All right, so we're gonna head outside and do a dry fit and cut.
All right, guys, there you go. There's the setup, and you know what? I can't wait. I'm not even gonna seal everything at this point. There's bound to be leaks. I can fix those later. I just wanna see how it's gonna look with the water. Let's get the water. They're gonna like it. And I don't have the pump on yet. I'm going to put the pump on after and fill up the filter. So here we go. I'm gonna let this sit and see how she goes. The baby ducklings are gonna love this. It's filling up guys. So I was thinking right here around the edge i think i might pull the dirt back just a little more maybe this much and line it with some nice bricks that'll be happening i think so and as you can see right here i've got a little piece of a flat rock or slate rock whatever right there because you don't want the pump sitting at the bottom where there's a little bit of sand that's going to build up over there over time and not only that, this water definitely is gonna be deep enough for the ducks to jump in and have a dive. No doubt, it's definitely much deeper than the pool that they had had originally right behind me. Definitely. Why are you guys coming over here? Why are you coming over here? All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, the pond is filled. Now it's time to turn on the pump and I'm gonna watch the water come through. Let's see what we got. Here we go. I can hear the water. There you have it. Oh. Wow, that is great and I am totally surprised. But I don't even even I don't even see any leaks at this point. Any of the elbows, everything is sealed really good, although I'm still going to put the PVC sealant on it. But look at that. That is great. Dino, Della, Dixie, Daisy, you're welcome. And guys, as you can see, because the filter is lifted higher than the pond itself, the bubbles is given oxygen to the water. And like I said, algae does not like the oxygen. Can't really live there that much, really. Beautiful, and I already got more ideas. I'm gonna put some bricks around here just to hold the plastic and get the dirt away from the pond so the dirt doesn't really drip in and I wanna put a light in it. I'm gonna put a solar light in it for the ducks. Woo Dino and Daisy, romantic nights in the pond with a little solar light. <laughs> so I wanted to mention, after looking at the setup, what I'm going to do is put an elbow right here Bring it right over to the barrel here, to the filter system, just so I don't have this sticking up, but I need to get more pipe. But just today, I just wanted to show you the idea of the pond, and I will show you in one of my other videos of it completely finished with the bricks and the solar light and all that that I want to do, but that's the video for today. You saw it didn't take that long. This was done in just several hours. Gotta do it. Your own DIY pond. Actually, now we're looking at it. Looks like we have a small leak right there, but realistically, this was supposed to sit overnight. So on that note, I'll be unplugging it, letting it sit, put a little more caulking around it and uh, she'll be good to go but that's the only leak right there so thanks for joining me today this was super awesome i am thrilled with the outcome so don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
Click the like if you like the video to appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.